Elizabeth University, it's the Doctor. And Mania Del Xander. And welcome back to LSWF Kickoff. We are here on another great Saturday here, April the 15th, 2023. That is right, Doc, and I'm here tonight because your normal co-commentator in action here in our opening contest and the GM Xander in the main event. So, making their way to the ring is the debut of the Storm Twins, Thunder and Lightning. That is right, the Storm Twins, a promising new tag team here in the LS11 Wrestling Federation making their way down to the ring. So the Storm Twins, a big matchup for them tonight. That is right, absolutely, the Storm Twins could look to get themselves in trios title contention with a victory here tonight. That trios division really starting to heat up, it would seem. Oh, most certainly. And tonight they are teaming up with the man who is normally to my right here at the commentary desk. They are teaming up with Xander, number three. That's right, Dog Xander, number three, making his way to the ring. A big matchup for him tonight as well. He is looking fired up here tonight on LSWF kickoff. A great night here. And really, it's weird kickoff following the big surprise show. That is right, the big LS11 flashback series. The throwback universe that will happen every so often, not like every week, not every month. Hell, no one really knows when the actual scheduling of it's going to be. Yeah, you're absolutely right. A great show that we had just now, though. I look back at WrestleMania 8 in the LS11 universe history. What happened there instead of the real-world counterpart. And Xander number 3 making his way to the ring. This is the first time we're seeing him in action here since we jumped to 2K23. That is right. So, Xander number 3 has made his way to the ring. And these three men are going to go head-to-head -head with the Overlooked. That is right. The Overlooked ready for Trio's action here tonight. There we have Corey Danger. We've got the newest member of the team, Eddie Matthews. And right there in the center is Brandon making his way down to the ring. That is right. Making their way down to the ring. The Overlooked looking for a big victory here. Brandon has said that they are coming for those Trio's titles. They are coming for the gang. They want the gold. We'll see what happens, though. Will they be able to overtake the gang? Will they be able to get past Zen number three and the Storm Twins, though? Because remember, Zen number three threw Brandon out of the Bow Memorial Battle Royal back at Zenomania just a few weeks ago, and Brandon has not forgotten about that. That's right, Doc. He's wanted revenge ever since that moment. So now tonight, he looks to try and get that revenge. So the Storm Twins and Zen number three ready to go head to head with the Overlooked. This matchup is about to go down. It's going to be a big one, ladies and gentlemen. A big fight feel coming up in this matchup. So, it is going to be Lightning starting it off. Or is that Thunder? Um, that's, a, that's a great question. But Brandon immediately making the tag. Here comes Eddie Matthews, who kicks out the leg. Let me check my notes and I can tell you which one that one is. Don't do it. All right, yeah, just uh, hurry up and let me know. Um, yes, that one is uh, that one is Thunder. Thunder wears the green, Lightning wears the purple. Wouldn't it make more sense for them to wear blue and gold, res respectively? Probably. But um, not LSWF original characters, the community creation sound notes. Fair enough. Eddie Matthews with the big DDT there, taking him down. Oh, went for a springboard forearm. Eddie Matthews showing his power right now with DDT. Matthews throws him off the ropes now. Eddie Matthews, elbow strike knocking him down. Off the ropes now again. Eddie Matthews pops up. Oh, big knee strike. Roundhouse kick takes him down. Now Matthews getting... Lightning back up to his feet, or Thunder back up to his feet. Firing around with kicks now, kicks him in the ribs. Kicks him in the ropes here and now. Eddie Matthews, no. Comes off the ropes, springboards. What a cutter! Massive cutter there from Eddie Matthews. News member of the Overlook showing what he is made of right now. He's a big powerhouse, he's a big guy. He calls himself the disaster, it would seem, as he's thrown in the corner. There's a shot from Thunder. And now Thunder puts him in the ropes and kicks him in the leg. Big kick there from Thunder. Now Thunder grabs onto him. So 
Gives up, drops him. Taking him down. He's got Eddie Matthews down. Grabs the arm, bending it back. And now Thunder with Eddie Matthews stomping the hand. And again. And again takes him down. Into a cover now. Thunder for the cover for the one. For the two. No. Kick out from Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews getting the shoulders up very quickly there. as a jab to the gut. He grabs onto him. He's got Thunder. Throws him into the corner. And Eddie Matthews now. What's he waiting for? Oh, Lightning's made the tag. Oh, the other Storm Twin is in now. And oh, wait a minute. Matthews throws him into his brother. But Thunder or Lightning getting out of Thunder and Lightning. Working together here. Zenimuth number three's tagged himself in. DDT on the apron to Thunder. Zenimuth three. Oh, look at that. Immediately turns his attention to Brandon. But Eddie Matthews makes the save with a kick in the ribs. Pulls him in. Lifts him up. Dropping him. Down goes Zenimuth number three. Yeah, Zenner number three definitely going to feel the effects there. Zenner number three gets caught. Eddie Matthews taking him towards the corner. Head first into the turnbuckle. Matthews with the tag to Brandon. Oh, and you know this is exactly what Brandon wants. He wants to be able to pin Zenner number three. You know, they pick him up. They drop him. Brandon's got him down for a cover. And Matthews taking out Thunder. Well, just like that, Brandon kicked to the face of Zenner number three. And now he Oh, Eddie Matthews wipes out Thunder. Brandon with an elbow into the back, takes him down now, and Brandon mounting him. Brandon punching him in the face repeatedly, punches him again, and kicks him in the ribs. Brandon now getting him back up to his feet here. Brandon with a chop overhead, knocking him back. Brandon kicks him in the ribs, knocking him back again, runs in. No drop to hold, Zenner number three out of the way. Whoa, Zenner number three. Oh, he was getting up for Blue Thunder Bomb. Brandon catches him, Zenner number three. Left hook right into the jaw, knocks him back. Brandon now, and Brandon. Caught Zenner number three with Brandon in the corner. He's got him now, and Zenner number three up to the middle row. Cover Brandon. Oh no, it's saved by Thunder. Matthews gets back in the ring now. Brandon with a big super kick now. Knocks the big man back, but can't take him off his feet. Corey Danger tagged in. Danger going head to head with Xander number three. And off the ropes, Xander number three ducks and grabs him. Oh, look at this. All drag taking him down. Three on top. Xander three punched him in the head again, takes him down. Cover now. Toss from Xander number three, taking him down. Xander number three's got him down now, and Xander number three. Oh, what's it going to here? Xander number three, this could be a big win here. Hits him up. Suplex takes him down. Xander number three goes into the corner. Tag is made. Lightning is in. There we go. Lightning. We're going to be more than just a flash in the pan. Whoa, wait a minute. No. Eddie Matthews just jumped over. Thunder was trying to stop him, and Eddie Matthews just wiped out Thunder and Lightning. And Corey taking down Zenner number three. Brandon's tagged back in. Hang on a minute now. Brandon getting lightning back up to his feet. And Brandon pulls him in, scoops him up, and Brandon drops him with a knee into the net. And down into a cover here. Brandon for the win. For the one. One, no. Now, oh, wait a minute. Brandon with some revenge here. Thunderstorm to Zenner number three. It's the Thunderstorm. Corey gets the tag. Eddie takes out Lightning. And Corey will just cover him. He's down, man. He's down. Cover him. Oh, wait a minute. You think about it, Mania Del Zeta. Lightning was actually the legal man. And now there's the cover for the one, two. Oh, wait a minute. Lightning's hand was on the ropes. It was. Well, call it a dirty finish, you will. I don't know where the doctor just went. He said he had to go take care. He whispered to me that he had to go take care of someone. Took his headset off. We'll definitely have to... Uh, we're we're going to have to make sure that there's somebody around here that will 
make sure that kind of stuff doesn't happen again. But with that victory, the Overlooked are your winners. Got more action right up on LSWF Kick. Oh, bloody hell, this is not good, not good at all. You two are not supposed to be here at all. You, this, no, no, no. I've got to get you back where you belong. I don't know how you ended up in the TARDIS, how you ended up coming to this time of history. But look, we, this can... <laughs> Gentlemen! Oh, Doc, you didn't tell me that these guys were here. Well, since you're here, why don't you have a match tonight? So, what's the deal? It, it, just let it play out. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, well, we got more action coming up as here comes the Mistress Jaden with the Carnival King down to the ring. New power couples arrive to the LSWF. These two making their way down to the ring tonight. Big singles action tonight. Jaden looking to make up for the loss last week. That's right, Carnival King claiming that they've cut the dead weight out of the carnival by getting rid of Madam Atlas and Starlight. And now tonight, Jaden looks to pick up a victory for herself, her first ever singles win in LSWF. If she were to win here, she's going one-on-one -on -one with a member of the circus. Of course, Carnival King trying to come in and overtake things now that the Quizmaster's gone. I mean, no one's I mean, we've seen her in weeks now, better part of a month. So, Marvel King and the Mistress making their way to the ring. And now here comes her opponent though. This is going to be the first time we see her in action as well. The newest member of the circus and one of the only two members of the circus at this point. Here comes Quizette to the ring. Quizette and the Quiz Queen. down to the ring Qu quiz queen and quizette oh, it's gonna be a big matchup for quizette tonight she makes her lswf debut alongside the quiz queen the queen of the circus the last remaining members of the circus with quizmaster out tech having abandoned them Madam Atlas and Starlight gone, and the flying question, no one's seen him in months. That's right, no one's seen him since they lost the titles. And so now, without any further ado, folks, it's going to be Quiz or Quizette and Jaden. Here we go. This matchup starts off as a slap from Jaden. Jaden sends her off the road. Shoulder block knocks her down. Now Jaden turns her over with a kick, and Jaden has got Quizette down, putting the boot into the face. Is Jaden once the heartbreaker? Now the mistress taking down Quizette into a cover for the one. No. And now Quizette getting turned over by Jaden. Jaden grabs onto her, and Jaden grabs her with a hair, slams her head first into the mat, taking her down. Jaden now getting Quizette back up to her feet. Went for a right hook counter. Quizette with a slap to the face. And then Quizette with another slap. And again, and a forearm strike. Quizette with the uppercut. Knocking down Jaden. Quizette getting her back up to her feet here. Quizette, uppercut. Takes her down again. We're seeing a lot of the young Quizette right now. Off the ropes. Big knee in the face and does a flip with it as well. Quizette showing off springboard. Oh, went for the cannonball. Nobody home. Jaden managing to get out of the way now, and Jaden grabs onto her, slaps her in the face, does the mistress. And now Jaden's got her down, putting her boot on top of her, and Jaden staying on top here at the moment. He's got her down, and now Jaden pulling her back, taking her towards the center of the ring here, looking to avoid a rope break, like we should have saw in the opening contest. Into the cover now for the one. No, kick out from Quizette. Quizette gets those shoulders up, and now Jaden... Standing over, Quizette fights back to her feet. Close line from Jaden. Knocks her out of the ring, out to the floor. Down she goes. And now Quizette gets caught. Jaden pulls her in. And knee into the face, turning her over for the one. No. 
Jaden has got her down now, and Jaden, the, the mistress, looking to end it here. Forearm strike taking her down. A big forearm strike connects, knocking her down. Into a cover for the one. No. She's down here is Quizette. She's got the mistress in trouble here. Down, Jaden rolls back to her feet. Went for a forearm. Quizette ducks. Jaden with a clothesline. Jaden grabs onto her, and Jaden with Quizette taking her towards the center of the ring. And now, oh, what a slap in the face! Big time slap in the face now. Well, Jaden doing what she did essentially to the fans recently, slapping her in the face. Goes for a kick, tries to turn her over. Oh, there's Press though. Repeatedly punching her in the face now is Jaden. He's got her down now, and Jaden hits the ropes. And oh, went for a knee strike. And now Jaden's down. Quizette. Right hook connects, and Quizette knocking her back here again. Firing away on her repeatedly as her knocks back here, and Quizette. Throws Jaden over the top rope, out to the floor, down she goes. Quizette is feeling fired up right now, feeling the, feeling the energy from this crowd. Quizette, what is she going to do here? Dives onto her, like a heat-seeking missile. She flattened her there, knee into the face again. Now getting her back up to her feet, and throws her back into the ring. Up on the apron now, Quizette up to the top rope, and Quizette gonna look to fly. Quizette, her or diving onto her now, into a cover for the one, two, no. Quizette trying to pick up an impressive victory in her first ever matchup, even the LSWF. Kicks her in the ribs, Quizette hits the ropes, and rolling neck breaker takes her down. Good have her there, there's a kick, knocking her down again, and now Quizette. Low kick, Jaden sweeps the leg. Jaden got down there, and Jaden turning her over, kicks her in the back, and Jaden pulling back on her, choking her out here. Jaden trying to put it down here is the mistress, might have it right where she wants her. Could end up getting the tap out here, could it be over? No. And, oh, it toss taking her down. Now, oh wait a minute, Quizette comes off the ropes. No, Jaden caught her. Jaden catches her there, and Jaden, with a breakout, takes her down. Back up to her feet now, and Jaden kicks her in the ribs. Oh, wait a minute, Jaden, with the beauty of the beast, using Elizabeth Bell's own move to send a message here, but no. Jaden was in the ropes, that, or excuse me, Quizette was in the ropes, and that's going to save her on this one. Jaden dragging her back towards the center of the ring now, and Jaden into a cover on Quizette for the one, two, no! Quizette gets the shoulders up. Jaden's got it down now. He kicked him to the back, has it down, and Jaden is looking to end things now. Jaden turns her over with a kick, has got Quizette down, and Jaden with a stomp into the back of the head. Jaden got her right where she wants her, and I think she's going to look to end this one once and for all. Kicks her in the ribs. Pulls her in. Beauty of the beast. And next again into the cover. For the one. For the two. For the three. Jaden gets the victory tonight. A big victory there tonight for... Jaden, she celebrates that win, her first ever singles victory. That is right, Jaden scores the win. You know she wants to get that championship from Elizabeth Bell. So, Jaden celebrates the win. We got plenty more. Oh, wait a minute, there's the champion. Elizabeth Bell rushing in. Elizabeth Bell kicking her in the back now, staying on top here, Elizabeth Bell. No, Jaden fighting back, these two going at it. Elizabeth Bell and Jaden, former tag team partners, now bitter enemies going at it here. Elizabeth Bell is interested in, you want my championship, I'm going to bring the fight to you instead. And now 
Elizabeth Bell, what is she thinking here? The champion is looking to do something dangerous. Elizabeth Bell hits the ropes. Dives out on the Jaden. Elizabeth Bell wipes out Jaden. Elizabeth Bell grabs onto her now and launches Jaden into the barricades. Oh, and Quiz Queen just blasted her with a steel chair. And Quiz Queen reigns rain, it in. The Queen takes her down. Oh, and wait a minute, backstage. Well, backstage, that's Joe Kremsley of Chaos. Joe Kremsley going after J.J. Gyllenhaal taking down the internet champion. Joe Kremsley is annihilating him with a shovel. And Joe Kremsley annihilating the internet champion. But now the point of the show that, uh, well, I've accidentally set in motion. What do you mean, Doc? Well, I was talking about a couple of people backstage that shouldn't be here. Well, it seems Andrew decided it was funny enough to make a match out of it. And, uh, well, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real life blast from the past. Say hello to box office. Brady, Baxter, and the light of the north, Jacques Maverick. I'm sorry, what? Aren't these the uh, the 1990s WWF commentators? Yeah. So you see, the way we brought you that show was I went back in time with Xander and Ray and managed to make things happen. And uh, it seems that Jacques and Brady found their way into the TARDIS and we didn't know about it. So now here they are in modern day as well. Well, this is certainly interesting. Box office Brady Baxter, 32-time Alaska heavyweight champion, known back in the late 80s, early 90s for his huge feud in Alaska Championship Wrestling with, uh, with the Iron Snowplow. Brady Baxter has made his way to the ring. I cannot believe this is about to happen. Yeah, welcome to the club. So this matchup is about to go down. Tim Burr, the Lumberjacks, made his way to the ring. Brady Baxter and Tim Burr are about to go one-on-one. -on -one. This is certainly about to be something, isn't it, folks? Brady Baxter and Tim Burr, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Oh! Brady Baxter leaping in and Brady taking him down. Brady Baxter showing why he is a 32-time Alaska heavyweight champion of the world. Throws him off the ropes now. And a hip toss taking him down. You do realize that uh, Brady Baxter is going to be the reason why Xander and Ray at some point have to do an Alaska heavyweight wrestling or an Alaska championship wrestling show in the, uh, the throwback series. Oh yeah, absolutely. That'll be like the uh, that'll be like the 10,000 subscriber milestone. Maybe 5,000 Zan is feeling up to it. That's a fair point. So uh, yeah, talk to your cousin about that one, MDZ. Fair enough. So whoa, look at this. Box office looked like he was going for a choke slam. Got caught with an arm drag, and now Tim Burr gets shoved back again. Brady Baxter staying on top here. And now Brady Baxter getting him back up to his feet. Brady Baxter staying on top here, knocks him back. Brady, no, kicked in the ribs. And now Brady Baxter has a hold of him. Well, Brady Baxter's got him back up, grabs him by the throat, and Brady with a choke slam. Brady Baxter with that vintage choke slam there has got him down. Getting him back up to his feet, and Brady gonna look down things. No. He's gonna knock that. Oh, went for him. They both launched at each other. 
Eddie Baxter. She, he's trying to look for that signature jackknife powerbomb that won in many of those 32 championships in the past. Baxter knocking him back. Brady rolling for a chop. Tim Burr. Oh, a spear! Tim Burr is getting more of a fight than anyone thought he would. And now Brady Baxter is lighting up the chest of Tim Burr. Oh, he's got him by the throat again. Looking for. Choke slam. He got him. Cover. One. Two. No. Tim Burr managed to get the shoulders up. And now Brady's got him. Oh, that's going to be it. Brady Baxter, the box office, with the jackknife powerbomb cover for the one, two, three. Welcome to LSWF box office. So it would seem. A huge victory there. For box office, Brady Baxter, 32-time Alaska Heavyweight Champion, might be looking to become a one-time LSWF World Champion. Okay, but boss, you're sure you don't want me out there with you? I know Colton well. Don't worry about it, Shinobi. I got this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The main event of the night, the LSWF World Title. The LSWF World Championship about to be on the line tonight, folks. Here comes Colton Scribner to the ring. The man who calls himself the future of LSWF and he says that the future is now. He looks to become the LSWF world champion tonight. This is going to be a huge matchup for the young Colton. Many people are doubting him but many people are rooting for him. This is a big fight feel tonight. It's about to go down, folks. Colton has got a, a huge opportunity tonight. That is right. Here he comes. First matchup since Xandamania. Here comes the champion. That's right. My cousin Xander making his way to the ring. Xander making his way down to the ring. A big matchup tonight. This is going to be Xander's second defense of the gold since winning it. That's right, he's pretty scarcely wrestled since winning that gold back at the Royal Rumble. But he's also been dealing with some, uh, I can tell you, I'm family with him. He's been dealing with some nagging injuries that have kept him out of competition for the most part. That's right, he's had some issues going on behind the scenes, but he's here tonight. He said he'd defend the title against Colton. Colton wanted this. He's going to bring it on. And has made his way to the ring. It's going to be a big matchup tonight. That is right. The champion is in the house. Xander is ready to defend against Colton here in our main event. It's going to be a big one, folks. Xander is here. The championship about to be on the line. That is right. Only the second time ever with the LSWF World Championship. He's going to be on the line on an episode of kickoff. The last time it was uh, the last time it was on the line, it was a big matchup for 
Xander when he battled Homelander and got absolutely demolished. Absolutely, so now Xander tonight defends against Colton. Oh, and Colton runs in knee to the face! Do what we normally see Xander do to people. And now Colton bringing the fight. Colton with a knee to the face. Colton gets caught with a clothesline. This is a big fight right out of the gate. Xander and Colton just going right after each other. Immediately taking him down. Xander getting back to his feet. Colton with a knee strike. He's got Xander down. Colton on the back. Discus forearm connects. Colton goes down. Xander rolls back through. Knee to the face from Xander. And now Xander mounts him. Oh no, Colton turns it around though, Mania. He does. Colton, he's been studying this. This is a matchup that's meant so much to Colton for quite a, a while. Remember, months ago, back in November of 2022, Colton's first ever matchup in LSWF was against Xander in a matchup before Xander was even in title contention. And Xander beat him in a matter of two minutes with a kick to the head. Didn't even have to break out his finisher or his signature that night. Didn't have to break out the spine buster, the ankle lock, or the pedigree. And now tonight, Xander, he's, he's in there with Colton. And Xander's being outpaced right now. He's trying to slow things back down for himself. Now it's Colton again, punching him in the face repeatedly. Is Xander, he's got him down, kicks him in the arm. They're in the ribs, and now Xander gets him back up to his feet. Xander knocking back Colton repeatedly strikes him, knocks him back into the ropes, and knocks him over the top with a clothesline. Colton goes down, and Xander reaches out to try and bring him back in. And Colton now, whoa, sweeps the leg out from under Xander. Colton's got him down, and Colton Scribner with Xander in trouble. Knee to a face from Colton has got Xander down, and Colton firing away on him repeatedly here. He's got Xander in trouble. Kicks him in the ribs. Xander goes down. Colton getting Xander back up to his feet. Referee at the count of four. Colton knows he can't win this match via count out. Referee at the count of five. Now Colton looking to end things. Xander staggers back to his feet. Colton springboards back in with a kick. Knocks him down. He's got Xander by the arm. And Colton grabs the arm. Surfboard stretch. Stomping Xander. Oh my God. Absolutely hammering the hell out of his face. Punching him repeatedly. And Xander goes down. Kicked in the ribs by Colton. Colton goes back down on top of him again. Colton, oh my God, I think he might have, has he cut him open? No, Xander's back to his feet, knee in the face. Xander turning things around finally. Xander trying to get back into this one. Xander now with a punch to the face. He's got Colton right where he wants him. Colton in some serious trouble now. And Xander grabs onto him again. He's taking him down. He puts Colton into the bottom rope. Slingshots him into the bottom rope. Down goes Colton. Now Xander goes right back in. Ground and pound again. Colton in some serious trouble. Xander kicks him in the ribs. Xander's got him down. Xander now gets Colton back up to his feet. We're going to take him down. Colton. Oh, ankle lock. Xander's got the ankle lock in. Xander's got the ankle lock in tight. Colton might be in some serious trouble. Yeah. And Xander wrenching back that ankle lock. Trying to tap Colton out here. Put him down. It could be all over. Colton. Will he tap out? No. Back to the own Colton. Oh, Lex says it takes him down. Cover one, two, no. Now Colton, no, knocks back. Xander grabs onto him. Xander rolls him through. Xander for the cover now for the one, for the two, no. Colton counters it. Jackknife cover. Colton for the one, two, no. Xander turning it around. Backslide, one, two. Colton kicks out. And now Colton, crucifix, cover, no, Xander kicks out. Colton now rolling him over, Colton. No, a kick out from Xander. Now Xander pops back up, close line to Colton, takes him down. And he's got him down now, and Xander has Colton right where he wants him. He in the face taking him down. Colton feeling the effects now. Colton sweeps the leg of Xander now, and Colton on to him, Xander knocks back, Colton, knee to the face, takes him down. And now Xander trying to roll towards the rope, Colton caught him, Colton, and him down, Xander rolls back up, Colton pops up, knee to the ribs, kicking the back of the head. Xander goes down again, Colton, 
getting him back up to his feet, and Colton Scribner looking to put him down here. Xander's in some serious trouble right now, Doc. He sure is, Xander. Look out. Disaster kick from Colton. Colton's pulling so much new moves out of his arsenal. Lion salt. Come on. For the one. Two. No. Xander is down. Oh, Xander, small package. Small package. For the one. No. I think many people in the LS11 Discord channel would say that work, that move best describes Xander. Small package. No. Colton nearly got him, though. Xander rolls back to his feet. Colton went for a clothesline. Xander countering. And then I am down here. Xander. Takes him down, turns him over into ankle lock. Ankle lock is in on Colton, and Colton Scribner is scratching and clawing. He's trying to grab the rope that's just above him. Didn't reach up there, he was down flat on his stomach. Xander takedown, big kick from Colton. Colton's knocking him back. Colton runs into Xander. Colton runs into him again, shoulder checking him. Knee strike attempt, Xander out of the way. Xander now, whoa, went for a kick, Colton. Colton swings him around, kicks him in the ribs, stunner! Colton with the stunner, cover on Xander. One, two, Xander gets the shoulders up somehow. Colton's got him down and Colton looking to end it now. Gonna look for another stunner. Kick in the ribs, no, Xander. Xander swings him around, kicks him in the ribs, pulls Colton in. Call it, pedigree. Into the cover, count it, Doc. One. Two, no! Xander kicked out. A Colton kicked out of the pedigree from Xander. Knee to the face. Colton, what's he got to do here? Oh, oh no! Xander with the exact kick in the face for the one, two, three, no! Colton finally gets the shoulders up. Kicks him in the back, Colton. Managing to save himself on that one. And now Colton throws Xander over the top rope, out to the floor. And Colton comes off the ropes. Tope Suicida. Xander goes down. Colton, what's he thinking here? Like Xander's thinking about going for the, or Colton's thinking about going for the announce table. He throws Xander into the barricade. Xander is down. Colton. And here's all the announce table. Referee is at the count of four, five, six. The count of six here. Seven. Is it about to be over? Xander answering back with elbows, knocking back Colton. Eight, throws Colton into, throws Colton into the barricade. Nine, Xander breaks the count, runs in, catches Colton, right hook. It seems Xander wants to officially put down Colton, wants to do it legitimately to silence the people saying that Colton's gonna get him this time. Xander puts Colton in the announce table and Xander, oh wait a minute, Xander, up on the table. Kicks him in the ribs. Oh, God. Oh, Colton's going to eat all of this. Pedigree. Colton's gone limp. Colton's down. It's over. He's down. Oh, my God. Xander's got the sledgehammer. Xander has got the sledgehammer. If he hits Colton with that, that's going to be an instant disqualification. The count of seven. Colton staggers back, gets back in the ring, knocks the sledgehammer out of Xander's hand, goes for a kick, Xander counters, Xander with a punch to the gut, knocks him back, and Xander with a clothesline. Xander has got Colton down, this is a direct repeat of last week, but Xander, what's he thinking here? He gets out of the ring, Xander, what's he thinking here? He's circling the ring now, Colton staggered back up to his feet. And Xander, is he thinking about backing out of the sledgehammer? Wait a minute, Colton, stunner, stunner! Xander's hands under the ropes for the one. Xander's hand is on the rope. It's on the rope with the ref comes three. Just like in the opening contest. It's over. We've got a new champion. You've got to be kidding me. The referee didn't see Xander's hand firmly under the bottom rope. He calls the bell. Colton's done it. Colton's beat Xander. Colton is LSWF world champion. Colton with the win, look at this. 
He's champion. He's done it. Colton Scribner is LSWF world champion. Wait, wait, Colton, Colton, I'm sorry. For those that don't know, my name is The Goat, and I am the senior official of LSWF, and Colton, Xander's hand was clearly on the ropes. The referee made a poor call. I'm afraid that the only solution here is to restart this match right now. What? No, damn you! Damn you, GOAT! The GOAT restarts the match and Xander took a shot with a sledgehammer! Pedigree! One, two, three! The match is forced to restart and Xander retains. Colton had him. Colton won it. But the damn GOAT! The greatest ref, as he's called, makes his first appearance in a while. Shows up. Tells Colton they're restarting the match and Xander wins. And look at this. Xander now mocking Colton. A dirty victory there for the champ. And the referee giving Xander the championship. Unfortunately, that's going to do it tonight, and the referee's telling Xander to get out of here because I think this building's about to start a riot. But Xander's still celebrating. This place is erupted with booze. This place is furious, and Xander's still celebrating, but the referee's telling him, go, go before they jump the barricades. And Xander's getting out of here. Until next time, everybody, I've been the doctor. I've been Mania Del Xander, and that was LSWF Kickoff. Have a good weekend, everybody.